Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining us. And if you're watching this one, congratulations guys. I just think that's so awesome because we are absolutely in the weeds of this stuff. We're trying to get to the nitty gritty, understanding it completely. What we've got is per unit subsidies, okay? The benefits of per unit subsidies. Let me cut to the end, okay? This is the big takeaway and it's a cool economic takeaway. It really is. Here's the situation, okay? It doesn't matter who the government writes the check to. They can write the check to the producer or to the consumer, either one. It doesn't matter who they physically give the money to. What matters as far as who gets the benefits of the subsidy is their relative elasticities, the relative supply and demand elasticities. Now take a look at this, okay? I've got a PED value that's pretty low. I'm trying to draw this very steep for inelastic, inelastic, lower PED value. A PES that's much higher, more elastic supply curve. Over here, PED, also inelastic, low PED, high PES. In fact, I tried to draw the same exact graph twice. Of course, if you look close enough, it's not perfect, but it's close enough, okay? so. In this particular graph, what's going on? I'm shifting the supply curve. In fact, I should say I'm shifting the supply curve, right? The quantity supply is increasing at every price point. Or you could say, hey, that marginal cost curve is going down. Why? Because in this graph, I'm assuming that the government physically cuts the check to the producer. Every time the producer or supplier supplies the good, the government writes them a check. It gives them a per unit subsidy, okay? Well, what would happen to their marginal cost? It would go down, so marginal cost minus per unit subsidy, okay? If you're getting money every time you supply a good, it's like your marginal cost is going down, supply curve shifts right. Over here, the government is physically giving the per unit subsidy or writing the check to the consumer. Since they're writing it to the consumer, demand shifts right. Quantity demanded is increasing at every price point. In fact, what's happening to the marginal benefit? Well, they're not just getting the good. The old line was them just getting the good. Now they're getting the good plus a check. How much? That vertical distance is how much the check is, the per unit subsidy. So marginal benefit shifted up by the amount of the per unit subsidy, demand shifted right, okay? Supply shifted right, and the marginal cost curve went down by the amount of the per unit subsidy. So giving it to the, the government, giving it to the supplier, the government giving the money to the consumer. That's what we've got, but the benefit, who actually gets the benefit has nothing to do with any of that. It has to do with the elasticities of the curve. Let's take a look at it, okay? So we've now got supply and demand intersecting right there, okay? Right there. That is going to be the price consumer, price consumer. The consumer is going to pay that much, hand that much to the producer. But the producer's per unit revenue is going to be so much more, okay? Go up to right there, draw this over, okay? I just want to kind of reference part the kind of get that a little bit lower. I want to get that right in alignment. It looked like it was about right there. There's the vertical distance, okay? So it looks like about right there. That is what the government is handing to the producer. Consumer hands this much to the producer. Government hands that much to the producer. So in total, the producer is getting a per unit revenue of this vertical distance. That's why we put PP right there. Now right off the bat, we can notice something very interesting the price producer went up by just a little bit and remember producers like their price going up because their price is what they receive right the price is what they're getting it's their per unit revenue the consumer's price remember price consumer that's what the consumer is giving up okay it went down by a significant amount more what does that mean it means the consumer is actually getting the bigger benefit remember take a look at the graph what curve did we shift? The supply curve, because the government physically wrote the check to the supplier, but the consumer's getting the bigger benefit. Why? Why is that, okay? Well, to understand that, I gotta go to the quantities, all right? Drawing this down, drawing that down. That was the Q market. This is my Q subsidy. In both situations, okay, QS equaled QD at Q market, post subsidy being implemented, QS still equals QD. The market is still clearing. So what does that mean? QS and QD had to change by an equal amount. Well, remember, the consumer's more inelastic. They're less responsive to prices. If they're less responsive to prices, to get QD to change by the same amount as QS, the consumer's gonna have, a, have to have, has to have a much bigger 
price change. The consumer is going to have to get the bigger price change to get their QD to change by the same amount as QS. That's the key, you guys. That's the one that you might rewind and listen to again. If you can get that little part, you're there, okay, guys? So, boom, QS and QD, both increasing by that amount. Consumer, much bigger price change than producer. Let's go over to here, okay? In this particular situation, government's uh, <laughs> cutting a check. That's not that hard to say. The government is cutting a check to the consumer, handing money to the consumer, shifting the demand curve. Now let's see what's going on, okay? Right there, that top part right there, gonna bring it over. That is price producer. Gonna grab this bottom part. You can even see I'm on the demand curve right here, the old demand curve. That's price consumer. We'll take a look at it, guys. PP, PM, PP, PM. Pretty much the same change. I don't like it. I think my hand kind of betrayed me a little bit, but that distance is pretty much just about the same. PC goes down. PC goes down by about the same amount. So price producer, price consumer. Once again, who's getting the bigger benefit? It's clear. The consumer, their price is going down, which they like, far more than the producer price is going up. It doesn't matter which curve we shift. Shifting the curves is based on who the government is cutting the check to, but that has nothing to do with who gets the benefits of the per unit subsidy. What determines who gets the benefits of the per unit subsidy is the relative elasticities of the curve and the group that is more inelastic, okay, who needs a bigger price change to get an equal amount of change in their quantity is the one that's going to get the bigger benefit. Consumer got the bigger benefit because they were more inelastic. That's the end of part one. Stay tuned to part two because that's when we put a ribbon on it. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.